Hey, welcome back to another 5 Minute Fridays. If this is your first time here, we do tech tutorials in 5 minutes or less in this series. Every Friday, except for last Friday, I apologize, I didn't put one up. Um, I had some medical issues come up, that's why I'm kind of wearing this little turtleneck type thing. Um, so you don't see this hideous uh, incision right here. Anyways, on today's episode, what we're going to be doing is converting a React class component to a functional component with hooks. So without further ado, let's get into this. First things first, um, what you can do is you can find this code. I have this up on GitHub. Uh, you can find it here. I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description so you don't have to go searching everywhere for it. So I initialized this project with uh, create react app. And so that's what we got here. So this is actually from a to do app that I built pre in a previous project and I'll link the playlist because that's a whole project if you want to check that out. And but essentially this is just a to do list and it's um, it's using react hooks, but I changed this I converted this component to a class components for this video so we can convert it back. So we'll just start at the top, okay? This is gonna be basically the same, right? But instead of using this constructor and setting our state this way, so you'll notice you have all these like binds because when you use this, if you say this, it thinks you're talking about this method here. It doesn't think that you're talking about the function itself, which is kind of intuitively what you would think that it would think that it is but it doesn't so you have to explicitly bind it to this and if you put it in the constructor here that's basically saying bind it to this entire function so you have to do that for every method that you use but this is a form component so that's this component here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and say actually first thing we need to do is we'll say export default function to do form and what do you know, we make it a function. All right, and then we will put props because we're gonna pass props this way. We don't need this. Um, we will need this initial state, but since it's a function, we can just declare it like this. And we'll just grab this. And then we'll, what we're gonna need, instead of component, we don't need that anymore. We're gonna import use state. And this is how we'll actually set our state. So we'll say const. You want to set your state to something that makes sense, right? Something that is relevant to the component. So this is to do set to do. Okay, equals use state. And we will set it to the initial state by default. Okay, and then we can get rid of all of this. So we'll convert this. This we want to be a function instead of a method. And then so we'll set it equal to an arrow function. And instead of saying this dot set state, what we want to do is just say set to do, right? It's our setter here. And then same thing here. This is fine. So this right here, instead of saying this dot props dot set to do's, what I want to do is I just want to say props dot set to do's this dot state we don't need this dot state we want to set it to to do that's what we're going to end up having after we end up submitting our form um, and instead of spreading in this dot props dot to do's we can pretty much the the rule of thumb is a lot of times you just have to remove this um, which is why functions are so much better in my opinion because you don't have to write this a hundred thousand times so this dot set state becomes set to do initial state. All right, and we don't need this render function here, so we can get rid of that. Okay, see we're getting some errors there, that's okay. We just need to remove this. This we can remove as well. And it will say to do dot message here and just handle change here. So, oh, yes, and of course, same thing here. We have to declare it as a variable. That's where we're getting our errors, all right? So we'll save that. Should be all good there. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, that looks like some sort of problem with uh, just a glitch. So let's just restart NPM here. 
Okay, so let's test this out then. Post a new video. Here we go, it's working just fine. Uh, there's one more thing I wanna do though, and this is what I like to do. Instead of just saying props here, I like to explicitly spread in the props that I'm going to be using. So then we can get rid of that. This is to do's and there we go. That should be right there working still. There we go. Yes. All right, and that's how you convert a class to a function. I hope you learned something. And if you did and you enjoyed it, then hit that subscribe button, hit that like button that lets me know that you do actually like the video. And again, if you're interested in this series and keeping up with it, then maybe turn on the bell notifications and you'll get a notification. Obviously that's what it's for, right? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Or less, so if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button. I was so close, but I fucked it up.